Welcome back to another Diablo 4 video, everyone. We're going to talk about, uh, honestly, what is probably the easiest way to farm your legendaries. Now, I'm level 25, so this would be early game. But really, this can apply uh, well beyond early game. So what you want to do is pay attention to this currency right here, the ovals. Now, this comes from, you guys all know what these are, those world events. You come across those, participate in those. Most importantly, and of course, you know, there is a rare chance the legendary could drop in a dungeon or in one of the uh, world event completion chest. I've actually gotten one legendary from uh, one of those chests. I believe I've got two of these out of regular dungeons here. So, well, no, that's no, pardon me. Only two. I've only gotten two legendaries. Yeah, but this here. This guy here, and he's located uh, in your main city, main town right here, Purveyor of Curiosities. You want to come to him. And now, yeah, these are all random chance to get something. And you can try for something specific. Like for me, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can maybe get a legendary wand. And now something else to keep a, keep in mind too, don't worry about upgrading your gear at like level 25 and whatnot. You know, I mean, obviously upgrade it to, if you get something better that drops, but don't waste all your supplies, you know, upgrading your gear at this kind of a level. I mean, you want to be, at least in my opinion, at least level 50 or higher before you even start worrying about that. So right here is a good way to kind of, uh, Roll the odds, and if you get a legendary and it does not work for your class, you can still break that legendary down. Basically, you can get the uh, the affix off that legendary and use that one time on a different legendary when you are high enough level and you're creating your legendary. Of course, you get other affixes from doing the regular dungeons, which you can use over and over and over again. So let's see what the odds are here that I will get a legendary wand from this guy. I have 343 obols. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Wait, look at that. Look at that. Got a legendary. Okay, let's see if I could uh, get a legendary focus, maybe. Uh, uh, okay, we're done. So... We basically just did, okay, seven, seven items, seven items. One of those is a legendary. So that would state that it's better, I mean, at least off this initial trial, that would say it's better than a 10% chance. So that's a pretty easy way to farm legendaries, guys. Go out, do the world events or the other events, if you're higher level, that you can do according to that level, and come back to this dude and just roll the dice. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too uh, unhappy with that. Let's see what this one gives me. Lucky hit up to, okay. All right, let's uh, compare. Definitely better damage. Okay, core skill damage, that's actually pretty good. Damage to close. Distant enemies have an 85% chance to be stunned for two seconds when they hit you. You deal increased damage to stunned enemies. That's not bad. I mean, I'll take it. That'll work for me right now. Heck yeah. So. All right, guys. Other than that, keep safe out there, and I'll see you on the next Diablo 4 video. Peace.